Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in a personal story segment tonight. The media's obsession with Governor Palin continues. Saturday Night Live mocked the Couric Palin interview for its lack of specific answers. But again, and not to belabor the point, one specific thing. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, I'd like to use one of my lifelines. <laughs> I'm sorry, I want to phone a friend. <laughs> you don't have any lifelines. Uh, well, in that case, I'm just going to have to get back to you. Also, uh, movie star Ashley Judd has attacked Palin. We'll show you that clip a bit later on. Joining us now from Washington, Fox News analyst Juan Williams and Mary Catherine Ham. Mary Catherine, because of the uh, seriousness of the economic situation, the presidential right. race has taken on even more gravitas, importance, urgency. It seems to me that many in the media are using this as an attempt to demean as much as they can, Palin as a non-serious right. person. So while this satire is funny, and they did mock Bill Clinton on SNL, right. and I'll show you that clip a little later on, and it's certainly in bounds, there's nothing wrong with it, the overarch is if we can show America that Palin is a total buffoon, doesn't know anything, we'll get our guys in the elected. I think that's what's going on. Well, I think that the McCain campaign has always known that they would be up against the media in this sense. I think you're right. SNL is not taking any shots that are totally out of bounds here. Some other folks in the media did at the beginning, which uh, which sets them up to you know have some have some trouble being too critical of her now without it uh, without it backfiring. Uh, Palin, you know, in some cases hadn't, hasn't done her, herself a lot of favors in certain interviews, and she's really got to you know make it up on Thursday. This is all going to shake out in a big way on Thursday when she meets up with with Biden, and you know she's got to make a point of of making herself this intelligent and confident and credible woman. Um, although I will say that Republicans don't often fare that badly when they're, when they're painted as dumb by the media. It happened to Reagan. It happened to Bush. I mean, it's, it's happened to, to many of them. Um, and, it, and it doesn't always reflect reality. Okay, so, but, but, but she has to make sure she, she fights against that on Thursday, certainly. Here's a, oh, absolutely. She's got to come across as, as very statesmanlike and uh, with a wide frame of reference. But now with panic and fear and anger, Juan, this you know, takes on more importance than how intelligent the woman is. Does she have a grasp of what's going on in this country? Because people now are really, really afraid. Well, I told you this from the beginning. I don't think she has the experience to do the job. I don't think that they were, people are demeaning her. I think the change that you're seeing in the temperature with regard to the median Palin bill is not one of obsession. She's been the story since she came on the scene. People are fascinated by Sarah Palin. She's on the cover of gossip magazines and the like, not just political publications. But now, all of a sudden, you have conservative Republicans, uh, columnists and, and strategists who are publicly saying, hey, we wonder if she's really up to the job. And, and that's because of what she did on the Katie Couric, the real Katie Couric interview. Uh, where she's, you know, was set up to just answer, you know, why do you have any foreign policy experience because you say you live in Alaska? Explain that. And she didn't even knock that ball out of the park. Uh, it looks like, you know, that line there, I'll get back to you, that came actually from the interview. That's something she actually well, said. Well, yeah, but she said it in the context that it was perfectly reasonable when uh, oh. Katie Couric, oh, come on, Juan, Katie Couric's asking about John McClain's regulatory history. Nobody would know that. Okay, she nobody should could, know, you know, she should you, know. You, you could ask you could ask Al Gore about Bill Clinton's regulatory history in Arkansas. Gore is going to go, what? Come on. Yeah, that no, 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 exactly but she what has been. Go ahead. Uh, she, she's been studying up on John McCain. He's uh, the head of the uh, ticket. She should know what John history? McCain stands for. Right. But it doesn't. That's not OK. Let's give her that. Let's give her that much slack, Bill. Let's let's go with that. But then how do you explain her failure to understand why it is, you know, that Russia poses a threat. She doesn't even a able to answer well, we'll this see question. On, we'll see on, on Thursday if she's got those answers or not. I mean, obviously she's prepping now. Now, what do you think, Mary but, Catherine, about this bathing suit stuff? See, this again looks to me like an attempt right. just to throw anything out there that's going to demean the woman. Well, you know, I think one of the memes that we're coming across is her as this sort of uh, beauty pageant contestant. She's a, a dumb, pretty girl is, is what they're trying to get across. But I think with that pageant video, especially on the Internet, uh, you know, this is a case where a lot of media elites are going to look down on this and say, 
oh, well, we don't like this about Sarah Palin, but a lot of normal people are going to look at the video and go, hey, you know, this is something we do in our normal lives. This is something I know a lot of people who do. She's in it for the scholarship money. It happened years and years ago, uh, and they're not going to see anything wrong with it. And it once again has the, uh, the ability to backlash uh, on the media's part, All being right. too harsh on but her. But I think you're right. I, I think the uh, Thursday night, and I'm going to be interested to see what you guys think about this debate on Thursday. It's going to be big. And then she's got to yeah. get out there after that. And she's she does, come here, she does she's connect. She does. She does connect with voters, so that, that's important on the economic issue. Yeah, Remember. but you know what? She's got, she's got to make a point. She's got to show some, some competence, and she hasn't shown it yet, and that's well, a long we'll, time. We'll see. But after the debate, then she's got to get out, and she's got to talk to a lot of people. Mary Catherine Wan.